Hey guys, welcome back again to another video in the series of Bash scripting for beginners. Now, in this video, we'll learn about the initial setup and the configuration that we need to do before we start our work. So, the first point would be initial setup to make the environment ready in which we'll run our scripts. We'll write the first script today and run it and or we can say execute it in the environment. So, writing and running our first Bash script. Third point would be various ways of executing a shell file in a Linux environment. There are multiple ways and you can choose any one of them. We'll discuss about two, three ways to execute them and whichever way you find easier, you can use that. Then we'll talk about how to use, sorry, how to get icons visible in CentOS on desktop. So what happens is whenever you install a new OS like CentOS, sometimes when you create a folder or a file in a desktop, it is not visible. So for that, we have genome tweaks. So we'll see how to install that and how to make it happen. Fifth point would be how to install Git in Linux and how to clone a repository in Linux. This is a very basic thing that we need to learn and we'll address that. And at the end, we'll check how to install Visual Studio Code in Linux and using that Visual Studio Code, how to run a script using that. So these are the six points that we are going to discuss today. So before moving and diving right into the demo part, I'd like to request that if you have not subscribed my channel, kindly do so. So without further ado, let's dive right into the demo part. So first of all, open your CentOS and go to activities and click on terminal. Here, you let me just increase the size, go to edit, go to preferences and select the custom font and click on the monospace regular and you can increase the size accordingly. I have 18 size over here so that you guys can clearly see in the mobile screen as well. Perfect. All you have to do type pwd present work directory. We are in the home OS boxes. We have to go to the desktop. So let me ls. Okay, desktop is there. Perfect. Now I have to do cd and type desktop. I think d is small so it won't catch it. Let me just delete it and type d desktop. Perfect. Hit enter and you are into desktop. You can even check by let me create a directory over here md. I'll create a directory bash scripting. So let me just type it and hit enter. Oh, I made a mistake. It should be MKDIR, not MD. So MKDIR is a acronym for make directory. Perfect. It has been created. Let me do LSAL over here. You can see that bash scripting over here has been created and it's a type of a directory with some privileges. Perfect. Now what we'll do, we'll try to create stuff over here. Let me just go CD bash scripting inside that change directory LS over here and then we'll just check. Okay, now uh, I don't need this. So what I have to do, I'll just go back to the new terminal and I'll just let me genome tweak it. Why I'm doing it? Uh, because whenever you create a file or a folder on a desktop in CentOS, it doesn't show up. So you have to type genome tweaks and for yes and no. Perfect. It has appeared. Now you have to go to extensions. Click on desktop icons and then select it. Once you select it, just save it. That's all. That's all you have to do. Once done, close it and you can see on your left side that the bash scripting folder is visible which was not visible earlier and that's why we do genome tweaks. Perfect. Now what we can do, we can manually go inside and create a new folder over here but I'm not going to do that right now because I'll, go, I'll be cloning the repository. So what we'll do now is we'll just go to the activities, go to the browser and you can see this is the bash scripting, this is the address bash scripting repository that I have created. You guys can create your own. And it would be really good because that would be beneficial for you in some interview or something. I'll just clone this, go to code and copy this and clone it. If you're confused how to clone and what is cloning, I have a course on that. Please follow my channel and you can find it over there for the whole Git crash course. Let's go back over here. Just type pwd. We are in the OS boxes. I have to go inside desktop and then bash scripting. And then here I'll clone the code. Now I'll just type git clone command and we'll give the right click let me just delete that space right click and paste it that's all hit enter and it'll start cloning oh it is saying that git is not installed which is good so we'll install git core over here and it has automatically asked so click on y and hit enter and it'll start downloading proceed with the changes yes perfect we are all right and it'll start downloading it can take up to some time depending on your internet speed i'll just fast forward it perfect so it has been installed do an ls you are in bash scripting now and it has copied the whole repository. 
So if you can see, there are two batch scripting folder which we created and one which is which we cloned it from the repository from GitHub. That's all you can see two files over here, git and readme.md file which we created. Now we'll manually go over there in the folder and check what are the folders over there. That's all you have to do over here. Let me just go back to the folder activities and then I'll just go back to the desktop. Perfect, I can see the folder now with genome tweaks. Let's go inside, you can see bash scripting folder, two folders. Let me see readme.md file which we created long back and it is written one stop solution to start your career in bash scripting which I wrote it over there and you can see it has come over here. Now what we'll do is we'll try to create a new file and there are multiple ways to do that. First of all, we'll take the help of the console which is the terminal and see what happens. So we can use the touch command over here but it's too crowded so let me just clear it first and then I'll use the touch command. So touch command is used to create any file over here and we'll create, we'll use this touch command many a times in this course in the future. So touch first dot sh, sh is the extension of the shell file or a batch file, bash file. Now it is, it has got created. Let me check the permissions it has, ls hyphen, you can just check it. Um, what you have to type, you can type ls hyphen al, that's all. And you can see the first dot sh file is there. It has a few permissions, but it is not a directory. You can use chmod, which is also known as shmod. The numbers, three numbers for executing read and write and you can change 77 is the highest priority first.sh hit enter and this first.sh get the highest priority you can see that first.h has all the permissions now perfect that's all you can do do over here now you can see that this file is over here let me just clear this because it's a lot of clutter over here you can use cat first.sh to see the content now cat is a command through which you can see the content of any file in in a linux environment so it is not showing anything why because my first.sh or shell file is empty and we'll just see that double click on it and we'll just confirm perfect it is empty so why not write something over there so we'll write a first command to execute and our first script so to start with hash some people say it band some people say it exclamation mark ha. forward slash bin forward slash bash echo Echo is used to print. What is this shebang and what is this? We'll discuss this later. It is, this is just to show you how you can create a shell file. Echo is for printing. As soon as you control S, save it file, you can see the extension has been changed. Let's go to the terminal and again, we'll cat it and you can see that the result of the file is produced on your screen. Perfect. And that's what cat does. Now, what we'll do is we'll try to run it over here. So this is one way to write it. Perfect, hit enter, this is my first program and we have successfully run our first shell file. Perfect. Now, there are multiple ways to edit it. One is VI editor. VI editor, type VI, first.sh, your file name, and you can see it has opened. Now, make sure what command commands are you pressing. Now, press I and you can see down that insert is written. Now, you can insert your commands over here. Now, just scroll down, scroll to the right and just hit enter and you can type your command here. We'll just copy the same command. So let me type echo. This is something what I typed from the console. And this is the changes that I made through the console. So I'll just run it to check whether these changes are saved or not. How to save it? Now you have to press the SA key, ESC key on your keyboard. And you can see that is gone. Now colon, you have to type from your keyboard, W, Q, and exclamation mark, hit enter. This is saved. Now we just confirm this. Now what we'll do, we'll do the cat command again on the first.sh. So that we can see that whether our changes is there or not. Let's see, case first dot sh, perfect. And you can see the line is printed over there. This change I made through the console. Perfect, this is one another way to edit it. Now what we can do is we can just run it again. So let me just clear this and I'll run the same command first dot s and you can see that the result is over here. This change I made through the console with the first line which I typed. So this is one another way to write your program, edit your program through the console or through some other way. You can choose anyone. Now we'll study more about the Visual Studio code. This is we are going to use in this course. Now you can Google the commands or you can just copy and paste or you can just type it or from just pause the video and type it, copy it and paste it. So it starts from sudo because it needs privileges, give your password. So once you sudo su and then you start doing stuff, it won't ask you for your password every time. But we are doing it this way. So let me type this. Let me copy this. 
and perfect and paste it over it hit enter and it will open a gnu nano 2.9.8 version can be different depending on the time you are seeing this video okay all you have to do is go to third step and you can copy this let me just maximize this copy this till code control c or you can just right click and copy paste it over here and you have to control s that's all you have to just save it once you do control s you can see road 6 line at the down which means that it has been saved i'll show you one more road 7 lines because i did something and saved again control it road 6 lines and that's how you save it you can do your minor changes but this is something which we want to keep it that's all you want to do and just close this it will prompt up with close terminal just close it because you have already saved it and the fourth question fourth point is save and exit the vs code dot repo which we already did now we have to install the latest version just sudo yum install code and you have to just type the command in the same terminal so go back open a terminal and type it as you have su use sudo over here it will ask for a password so just password osboxes.org which you already know by now hit enter and it will start the installation part it can take up to some time depending on your internet speed i'll just fast forward it so that you guys can understand in the meantime this this will ask you for yes or no yes or no every time give yes and just install it now you can see visual studio code is getting downloaded and once it get downloaded it will be installed perfect i have fast forwarded it yes it will again ask you for the packages some packages it will download some dependencies and stuff perfect my visual studio code is downloaded and we are good to go now what we'll do how to run it we'll go to the activities again go to the application which is the last option and you can see on the down visual studio code is there click on it and it will open just maximize it by double clicking perfect it will ask you for the few settings you can just custom it i don't need to custom it so i'll just mark it as done perfect now it will ask you to create a file or open a file i'll just open a same folder which we created long back and we'll go to the desktop there was a bash scripting folder again there was a bash scripting folder just okay or double click it will open for the first time it will ask trust the author yes i trust the author because i am the author so yeah perfect just click on it and you can see the first.sh file is there which we created manually now what we'll do is we'll create a new folder and i'll just give it a name 01 because we are going to maintain everything from this and in the whole course we are going to use visual studio code that's all i'll give the name 01.first that's my folder name i'll just drag it over there so that it looks good a prompt move perfect yeah i want to move it go inside and just go to terminal new terminal and you can see down there is a terminal that has opened in which we'll see all the output of the program perfect now what we'll do sl sorry ls now if i have listed cd 01 first perfect ls you can see the file name which is present over there and we'll just run this file again the same way and you can see the result this is my first program this change i made through the console so this is so easy you to understand and if you cannot see the size you can just open the command palette and you can just type text over here to change the size let me just type text over here so that i can change the size so that okay so test is not the correct one because you cannot see an option font should be the option so type font my mistake so font should be the option and you can see editor font zoom in so depending on your need you can just zoom it once twice th three times or four times i'm using i'll be using four times so that if my friends are seeing this in a tab or in a mobile screen it is very much visible to you so this is all you have to do guys um, this is very easy process and one by one you just need patience for this because the downloading can take up to some time and everything will be all right so i hope you guys have understood it if there is any issue feel free to comment below and we will address that issue so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video